Hey, how's it going, everyone? Black Cat Hobbies here with some more of that Pokemon Shine and Pearl Nuzlocke. Today, looks like we're probably going to go teach Team Galactic a little bit of a lesson. Uh, did some wandering around. I was waiting on some stuff on my computer that was running to finish up. Um, before I could actually start up my recording programming. And, uh, so this guy, well, this house right here, we're still in Eterna. This guy's the guy that gives you access to the underground. So I have access to the underground now. And I was messing around in there because I remembered that he gives you a bunch of quests that are, like, just teaching you about the underground. And, uh, well, I lucked out. Normally, I'm not going to be catching Pokemon in the underground, or if I do... Because the underground is set up in such a weird way, I'm going to just set those to the side and not use them until, like, post-game just for the sake of I want to catch everything, but I don't plan to use it for the Nuzlocke. I'm going to keep anything Nuzlocke catch-related separate. I'll keep those named. Anything else that I catch will probably not get nicknames or anything because it's just going to be for my own personal for when the whole Nuzlocke's over. But, the one thing that, personally, I think does count for the Nuzlocke, I wasn't expecting to get, but at the same time, you could be going for hours in the underground and not find one. Uh, where is it? Okay, so I don't, there it is. I got an armor fossil. So that, uh, one, let me take a quick save. I believe I'm going to have to go somewhere else to actually turn that in, but we may get there next episode anyway. Uh, explore key comes with such hammer because you want more tools and use them to dig into walls. You need to keep the stuff you fully uncover before the wall collapses. Don't forget the dark rocks are impossible to break. Keep that in mind, and you'll be digging up treasure and other... Okay, the only reason I went and talked to him is... When you first talked to him, he mentioned stuff about, uh... Fossils. Now, I also finally managed... Um... In this building here... Is the renaming guy. So... Staravia finally got its rename as Silphy, like it's been needing. Uh, actually, I'm going to move this a moment. I don't want double water types up front. She has to be safe. Though, actually... Shrimp finally evolved last episode. We're going to finally let Shrimp have its time to shine for a little bit. Assuming it's got what I remember it having. Attack 59, bite. Yeah, that'll work for now. So, we're gonna go deal a little bit with Team Galactic because they're a pain. I went ahead and I stocked up on some stuff at the Pokemart. Pretty much just getting ready so that I don't forget about doing it before I actually need it. Would you like to cut it? Yes. Bidoof is going to use Cut. A random wild Bidoof knows Cut. And just to make it easier... I don't think there was anything back here, but I'd rather, uh, be safe. I'll come back that way in a moment. Okay. TM46 Thief. That might come in handy. And, uh, yeah, sorry if there's any excess noise in the background. Again, I do still have to have those multiple fans running, and... I don't know. It could be worse. We're going into a really warm week, which is annoying, because it's going to jump up. Oh, uh, between 10 and 20 degrees 
to what it's been lately it's gonna be up in those temperatures for a week and then drop back down 10 degrees or more May weather is always terrible you know and so yeah may have some even more fans running on the next few recordings on top of it if you hear me start to sneeze a lot the pollen count apparently was really high today and it's really been messing with me see team galactic isn't interested in the world our gaze is beyond the stars oh you seem so insightful welcome to team galactic are you here to donate your pokemon never you're not then kindly get off our property do you have to bring the pain like we did with the cycle shop manager well that is important sorry dearie team galactic doesn't accept children as members is this a single or a double battle i think this is a double uh, and i'm wrong eh no big deal starting out with the lousy zubat I'm horrible at remembering what these things are weak to. And of course it has inner focus. I'm gonna do this the easy way. I'll take it. I may be a tad on the over level side for this area, but I did some looking between recording the previous episode and this one. The next actual gym, it's leader. Uh, Ace seems to be about level 30, so as long as I don't go above level 30 leading up to it, or leading to starting the gym, I'm relatively happy. Spirit grew to 20. Glamyow, we'll keep going. We're just gonna fight the Glamyow again. Finally getting to show off shrimp. Had shrimp for a long time. It's been a long time coming being able to actually use it decently. But since it finally evolved, it's actually useful now. But, but Deary, you're just a kid. Yes, I'm I'm a kid with a Gyarados. Kaido is angry. Well, with this one, gathering Pokemon for an astonishing undertaking. Your meddling won't be tolerated. Team Galactic grunts them out of one pull! Oh, I'm so scared! Honestly, I could probably beat it with a tackle. Yeah, the only one I probably might have to worry about getting a little too overleveled before the next gym would be Silphy. And if the next gym is what I think it is, I'm not even... I probably won't use Silphy in it, I haven't fully decided yet. Ooh, a Cascoon! You know what? Sorry if you heard that, I thought I had my phone on silent. If it didn't trigger... Okay. But it might have triggered. It's weird, because I'm sure I turned the volume down on my phone to mute, and it's still giving me notifications. So I'm going to have to go and play with the settings, I guess. But hopefully everyone is doing well. It's good to get back into this. was also uh, reacquainting myself with um, Monster Hunter Stories 2. So, expect videos of that again, along with, um, basically just getting back into the swing of things on all the game series that are, for the most part, mid-series. Some that may have been started, I may just redo, I haven't decided yet, especially the older Pokemon games, and anything Borderlands related, if I can get my consoles working again. Or if I just have to run it all off of my PlayStation 4 and get new copies, which would be really annoying, but if I have to, I have to. Uh, another series that will be coming up, though I do have others I need to finish first, 
is I do have a copy of Metroid Dread. That'll be coming down the road. I do have Legends Arceus. That'll be coming down the road as well. Crash Can's empty. Uh, my wife happened to grab for herself Saints Row the Third. If anyone wants to see a series on that, I'd definitely be happy to do it uh, in preparation for the real... Not remake, um... Okay, my mind isn't working right now. But the Saints Row that comes out later this year, where they've redone stuff. Team Galactic is working hard to find new energy sources for the future. I don't care. Our objectives are incredible, too incredible for me to understand. I'll fight blindly to defend them, and your intrusion won't be forgiven. Eh, yeah, too many people like that anymore. Uh, but... Yeah. Um... And I apologize, but if anyone was really enjoying the Destiny content, as is probably obvious, probably not gonna be doing that again. I mean, I enjoyed it for a while, but when they went to the Seasonal Pass model, I just... I don't know, I got to the point where I just couldn't find any interest in playing it anymore. I mean, if they went back to... if they end up doing a Destiny 3, I might pick it up, but... I don't know, it just... I think it might depend on what business model they choose to go with. So we'll see. And Zubat again, so we're just gonna keep Shrimp out here, and Shrimp is gonna bite the Zubat. Shrimp is gonna do its best Ozzy Osbourne impersonation. And if you understand that reference, well, chances are you're around my age or older. And yeah, uh, that is what it is. <laughs> Or, depending on who you ask, it just means you have really good uh, taste in music. So, uh, it is what it is. Also, if you get that reference, you probably won't understand the whole kid's fascination with the flossing dance, or whatever you want to call it. Which, yeah, I have a very strong opinion on that that I don't want to get into here. Let's see how good this Pokemon is. I stole it from some weak trainer. Then why are you using it? It's just a Silcoon. You know what? Let's experiment a moment. I took two damage! I'm... I'm so hurt! So we are used to waste a bite to finish it off. Another trainer down. Finally, it gets its time to shine. Not harder for winning. Let's try this one. Research on new forms of energy. We want to harness the mysterious power of Pokemon. Why, thank you! We love it when people come to us to donate their Pokémon. No donations happening. And starting with a Wumple. I mean, I get it's an early on gym, and depending on what you start with, with the gym leader's ace being in like that 20 to 21 range, man, these battles are easy for this team. And I mean, I get they're probably figuring someone just came out of the gym and did it. 
or this fight without thinking, so I don't know. But they definitely made this one easy. I, it could just be the format with versus having the current version of experience here, which in some ways I love and in some ways I hate. Waterfall, yes. I, it definitely speeds things up, but it does make it a little easy to be over-leveled on uh, this sort of format. It's just a Silcoon. Like, for just casual gameplay, I love it because it takes so much, or it can take so much time to level up the old-fashioned way. And I mean, I still enjoy doing that, but... I don't know, if I end up having to, or if I get to the point where we have a really bad episode and I have to re-level like half a team, that is really not fun uh, with the old version of Experience Share. It's not entirely fun with the current version, but it's a lot better. We'll keep against the Zubat. I gotta admit though, the next video does have me a little worried. I happen to see what some of those trainers are using um, when we're on the bike. I'm really hoping for some luck on adding a new member to the team there, but there's really only one thing that I properly want, so the chances of getting that are slim. You say anything? Ordinary people like you can't understand Team Galactic's grand designs. Come to think of it, I don't even know what's going on. Why am I not surprised? Alright, this guy, piece of cake. Our mission is to implement our operations without question. It is all for the new world order that our boss will lead. You're here for me to get stronger. Ah! Actually, I don't remember how Dark-type moves fare against, uh, Psychic-types. I guess this will be a good test. Worst comes to worst, I'll swap them out for something else and just destroy it. Or I could probably use Waterfall. I mean, it is... physically... Its physical defense is rather weak. Uh, and against a Gyarados who has a pretty reasonable physical attack stat, like, it... yeah. It is what it is. Zoro to 22! Sadly, it's night when I'm recording this, so if I am remembering its level up correctly, it wouldn't be able to evolve even if I wanted it to right now. Won't go unpunished. Got... like... $10 worth. If I'm remembering conversion rates correctly. It's the bike dude! What is it with this Team Galactic? Why did they take our Pokemon? What are they trying to accomplish? Eh, did you want something? How silly of me to even ask. You want to free the Pokemon. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Like you can stop me? I've cleared your whole building with a Gyarados. You're lucky I'm not just having it attack from the outside. And it's a Zubat. Jupiter needs a better fashion sense. Attack not lowered. It's a level 18 Zubat. We'll bite it. A little better. Yeah, that's what I thought. Can't escape. I don't care. I mean, that could prove a problem, but highly unlikely. Um... Honestly, it's probably fine. I mean, I don't think I have anything that's specifically strong against this gun tank right now. Oddly enough, it is a Pokemon that I've grown to enjoy. Waterfall it. 
Okay, gonna heal up a little bit. Uh, Skun Tank, I believe at this point, uh, is part dark type, so... Let's see... Special Attack fell, I'm not using Special Attack anyway. The Waterfall it again. And this at least gives a uh, same attack type bonus. We'll hit you one more time with a waterfall, and that should be enough to finish this out. And I'm sorry that the previous video was so long. Okay, I lucked out there. I forgot the thing had aftermath, and I hate aftermath. Roxy to 22. Uh, this is going to be useful. Alright, 40 uh, Okay. Ooh! Alright. That actually just got a lot more helpful. And 60 and 100. I'll get rid of Sandstorm. I never really use Sandstorm anyway. Learn Bulldoze, that's actually going to come in handy for the next area. Spirit to 21. Sylph to 24, alright, alright. Bonaparte to 22. Now, I keep forgetting that's more of a special attacker. And Jupiter's defeated. Losing to some child being careless cost me too much. Sorry, I don't remember if I've done a voice for that one before or not, and I'm not really sure what I want to do for him yet. Well, aren't you tough? It's okay, though. Our official Pokemon statue investigation is finished. And Mars has collected energy from the Valley Windworks. We're pretty much finished here. I'll let you in on one little thing. Our boss is researching the myths of ancient Pokemon. With the power of mythical Pokemon, he will become the ruler of Sinnoh. I suggest you keep out of Team Galactic's affairs from now on. This is your last warning. I got my Clefairy back, and it's all thanks to you, but that Team Galactic... They said Clefairy came from space. Hand it over! Their logic baffles me still. It's like they are from space. Anyway, they're gone now. Thank you very much. I can't thank you enough right now, but cruise by my cycle shop, okay? Alright, so at the end of where we need to cycle for, there is the possibility of getting a Ponyta. I don't really want a Ponyta. Because Ponyta, it's it's alright, there's a lot better stuff. But, I chose to go with Piplup here. Even though I probably should have taken Chimchar. I am a big Chimchar fan. And the only other real fire type, if I remember correctly, that you can get in this game before post-game, is Houndoom in the Underground. And because of the way the Underground is set up, I'm not really counting that outside of the fossil that I picked up. So, yeah, I don't have a lot of options there. So if I want a fire type, I'm pretty much relegated to Pony type. Alright, we'll give him a rest, and we'll go visit the uh, bike shop. And then I'll probably call this episode. Uh, we might get a fossil in the next one, too. And I gotta look at something, but I'm fairly sure I don't have an encounter from Route 207. So there might be a few encounters in the next one. Along with something else that I'm debating on. So let me take a quick look at something. Got Shellos from Windworks. Alright, which page was on? Wrong page. I think I'm getting my pages mixed up.
All right, I think I have my notebooks mixed up. I will figure that out before the next episode, but I'm fairly sure I don't have an encounter from Route 207, which could net me on a chop. So I think that's about the only thing in that patch that I don't already have. Though I am going to have to check one thing other, uh, as well. It is what I get from having like four separate notebooks all in use at different times. And I have a document on my computer with it as well, but that's not pulled up at the moment either. Thanks for rescuing me. I can't thank you enough. Say, let me give you a bike to show my gratitude. A whole bike? I get a whole bike? Come with me for a moment. I'd like you to choose a color for your bike. Which one will it be? You know what? Let's go with green. I don't know why, but we'll go with green. Sure, we'll take the green bike. I don't agree with what he's saying, but... He says that this is somewhat reminiscent of the seat on Bulbasaur's back, and I'm fairly sure that color of green is wrong. I could ask my wife, but yeah, she's busy at the moment. But she's a huge Bulbasaur fan. She'd probably know. It's the latest model, so I'll read the operating manual to you. Press the B button to shift gears, yada yada. In third gear, the bike cannot reach full speed, but it'll be easier to handle. In fourth gear, top speed, but, and climb up slopes. Yeah, basically, you either get third gear or fourth gear, nothing else. But hey, I have a bike now. I'll set that up later. So now we're gonna come down here. Long time no see. Oh, you look puzzled. You're wondering who I am. I'm Professor Rowan's assistant and Don's father. I've come a long way at the behest of the professor to help you on your adventure. Let me ask you, how many Pokemon have you met? Apparently I've met 42. Yes, bravo. Professor Rowan should be delighted. Here's something for you. Rare candy. A lot of good that'll do me. Rare candies instantly increase its level by one. Don't worry, though. It will obey you if you have enough gym badges. Yeah, it's just talking about how if you get Pokemon through trade, they might not be willing to obey you depending on how many badges you have. Oh. Okay, he's done. Talking about gear shifting, and she does the same. So we're going to call that here for now. Because as soon as I exit this building, it's going to just have me going straight downhill. So with that, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share. You know, all that standard YouTube jazz. I've been Black Cat, ho Black Cat Hobbies. Sorry, a little tongue-tied. And I'll see you all in the next one.